Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first installment of the Moron of the Month. This is where I take a look at a person or group of people who, in the last month, have said or done something incredibly stupid. I will mainly be focusing on famous people, but your average run-of-the-mill everyday moron is perfectly eligible as well. For the month of March 2011, we will be looking at a famous person, and that person is Mr. John Francis Bon Jovi Jr., better known by his stage name, John Bon Jovi. I have never really thought of him as a moron. To me, at least, he has always appeared to be of reasonable intelligence, so I was quite surprised when I read these comments that he delivered to the Sunday Times Magazine in the UK, bashing Apple CEO and co-founder Steve Jobs. He said, and I quote, Kids today have missed the whole experience of putting the headphones on, turning it up to 10, holding the jacket, closing their eyes, and getting lost in an album. And the beauty of taking your allowance money and making a decision based on the jacket, not knowing what the record sounded like, and looking at a couple of still pictures and imagining it. God, it was a magical, magical time. I hate to sound like an old man now, but I am. And you mark my words. In a generation from now, people are going to say, What happened? Steve Jobs is personally responsible for killing the music business. Really, John? Really? You're going to lay the death of the music industry solely at the feet of Steve Jobs? Now, I will admit I don't have a huge amount of respect for Steve Jobs. Apple fanboys, hate mail goes here. But Mr. Bon Jovi's comments sounded pretty fucking ridiculous at first. However, the man has been in the music industry for quite some time, the better part of 30 years, so certainly he should know more about it than I do. So maybe I'm just not looking at this from the right angle. Maybe I'm missing something. So I've thought long and hard about what he said, and I have come to the conclusion that he is in fact correct. He is an old man. But to claim that Steve Jobs is killing the music industry is just stupid. When you hear a musician complaining about iTunes or other digital distribution platforms like Napster, Zune, Amazon, Rhapsody, and many more that I'm leaving out, you'd think they'd be complaining that they aren't getting as much money as they used to. But that's actually not what Bon Jovi is saying. He's actually saying that digital distribution is bad for the consumer. I'm gonna say that again. John Bon Jovi claims digital distribution is bad for the consumer. He says that kids today are missing out on taking their allowance money and... Uh, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm completely reading this wrong. Let me start that over. <clears throat> kids today are missing out on taking their allowance money and making a decision based on the jackets, not knowing what the records sounded like, and looking at a couple of still pictures and imagining it. And get off my lawn! And again, he's absolutely right. Kids are missing out on blindly buying an album, hoping against hope that it will be good, only to discover that the people who made the album put more effort into the cover artwork than they did the actual music. Or buying it based on a single they heard on the radio that sounded pretty cool, only to discover that the other 9 or 10 songs are effortless filler. Forgive my squirrely ignorance, but... This is a bad thing because... I suppose it's a bad thing for the no-talent hacks that populate the industry today, because it's a lot harder to con people into buying an album's worth of effortless filler when they can just purchase individual songs quite easily and from the comfort of their own home at that. So I suppose Steve Jobs has indirectly harmed some people in the industry, but I have a hard time feeling sympathy for those assholes. And for Mr. Bon Jovi to paint this as a bad thing for the consumer is woefully misguided at best and downright dishonest at worst. But make no mistake, something is killing the music industry. Music. More specifically, shitty music. In support of this claim, I present the following. Exhibit A. Exhibit B. Exhibit C. Exhibit D. Exhibit E. Exhibit F. And most 
most recently, Exhibit G. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. I could go on all day, but for the sake of your eardrums and your sanity, I'll stop there. So in honor, or perhaps dishonor, of his incredibly inept comments, I award Mr. John Bon Jovi the Moron of the Month Award for March of 2011. And John, if I may offer just one piece of advice, you should probably stop buying CDs just based on the artwork. You're gonna end up with a lot of shitty music that way. Until next time, I'm the Smeghead, and I'm out of here.